hi guys welcome back to my channel is your girl ashley here again if you're seeing my face for the first time thank you for stopping by i hope you join this beautiful family before you leave in today's video i want to talk about the toy guides for um babies and toddlers that's if you're i know when i had my child i was initially confused about what toys to buy the exact age for each toy and things like that so i had to you know go online before i could figure out all those things so so guys in no particular order i'm going to start with zero to six months but before i get into that let me say some things first um, toys are not supposed to be too noisy for kids like some rattles can be really loud they're not supposed to be too loud for them because their ears are still you know tender their eardrums are still tender they shouldn't give too much bright lights they shouldn't be exposed children should not be exposed to too much bright light so any toy that is too shiny and all that is a no-no for children and it shouldn't be too small especially between the age of 0 to 12 months they tend to put everything in their mouth so if it's too small they are the risk of swallowing it so it's better if it's something that cannot go into their mouth it's too big for them to put into their mouth it's safer than something small that they can easily you know swallow or attempt to swallow so that being said like i said zero to six we're going to start with zero to six months and i'll be showing you guys some of nora's toys just as reference but anyone that she does not have i'll just put up the picture somewhere around here so yeah the first toy i'm going to talk about which is something she doesn't have is an activity mat it kind of encourages leg movement and, and encourages their sight they tend to look at the things that are on top or attached to the mat so activity mat is something that um, is very important for babies i didn't get activity mat because she had a rocker which also had that mobile thing on top which she could always look at and at some point they trying to use her leg to get to and it was a rocker so it's rock at the same time it was almost like a three-in-one package so since we had that i didn't go ahead to buy an activity mat and she already got the basic mat as a gift even before she was born so i didn't see any reason why i should still get an activity mat but yes an activity mat is kind of essential for children except you have alternatives which would bring me to my second toy a rocker and not just a rocker that they'll just lie down and be looking at you know nothing it's better when it's one that still has other um, entertaining things for them to either try and reach when they start moving their hands properly either something they'll try and reach something that they will use their leg to kick or something that they can just be following with their eyes to develop their sense of sight so basically zero to six months should focus on toys that you know develop all their senses their sense of seeing their sense of tasting feeling touch you know hearing and things like that so that's basically what the toys from zero to six months should focus on so another toy that is really important for their sense of um hearing is a rattle i feel like as it's close to my mic it's going to be really loud but yeah a rattle is really important this was this one is kind of too loud for a six for a zero to six month old if you ask me and she didn't start playing with it till she was a year old so yeah but a rattle is good for them Another really good toy for zero to six months is a sensory ball. This thing is called a sensory ball because of, as you can see, it's because of all these things it has around it, it you know, it encourages their sense of touch. They know this thing feels different from any other regular thing that they touch. Yes, she had one toy like that. I don't think I have it here. Maybe I'll put up a picture somewhere around here. A DIY toy that her dad made for her that also, you know, helped her differentiate between smooth and rough smooth surface he made one half of the board smooth half of it rough so she could differentiate between rough and smooth so it's something like this but she started with these ones earlier especially this earlier than before we exposed her to the board because you know that one seems more mature another toy that is important for them zero to six months is this especially when they start sitting this is called a teeter but aside from teeting it also makes sound she has soaked it in saliva so it doesn't make that sound anymore but yeah when it was new it was making sound and she had other titters too that i cannot find right now but yeah a titter is really good and as you can see it has both the rough side and the smooth side which also encourages their encourages their sense of touch so this is also a very good toy another thing you can introduce between zero to six months are books and i like this kind of book I still allow her play with this kind of book even though she's 16 months now because 
of the texture she can't tear it it's not you know the regular books pages that she can easily tear it's really thick so she can't tear this one and it's really colorful i mean see the title i'm sunny so it's really colorful and the colors attract her keeps her entertained and things like that while i just read the short um sentences in each page to her and things like that and this was also one of her first books but yeah this was her favorite i had to hide this one from her for a while because she was trying to tear she still tries to tear it but yeah we also tend to read this one another book that was really good for her which you know as you can see her is this also a very colorful book so basically you should focus on colorful books between the age of six zero to six months as a matter of fact i think till they are no longer kids they will be attracted to colorful books but it's really important that their first books are really colorful you know to keep them engaged and entertained so these are basically the zero to six month toys that i would recommend another thing i always aim that is quality over quantity i was not obsessed with having so many toys the whole house full of toys when most of them you know have the same function so as long as she has two three titters that is enough she does not need more than that two three books that is enough so instead of just having so many things two um rattle toys are enough two sensory balls are enough and things like that so i just focused on minimal um so now we're going to go into six to twelve months and for me as a parent i'm trying to encourage montessori inspired activities for my for my child i said children like I have more than one for my child it was really important for me to get toys that would engage her toys that you know would not just do all the entertaining for her but you know she'll have to get her hands busy she'll have to get her mind busy and things like that so from six to twelve months i focused more on you know toys that would engage all her senses and you know keep her concentrated and focused on an activity for as long as possible and that will bring me to my first toy it's a diy toy which she has really played with as you can see she has you know almost destroyed it she barely plays with it again because she doesn't find it that much entertaining again but she has played with it for a long time so it's normal for them to at some point be bored of a toy that they've used over and over again so with this toy we got um what's it called a tennis ball we have something else that is covered here this toy is called object permanence box yes i'm going to try and put you know a picture of what it's supposed to look like over here but i couldn't get one around so i had to diy by myself yeah so she'll just drop the ball i had to show her how it works she dropped i think there's a video i put up a video of her playing with this toy before if you follow my videos and if you don't please check out montessori inspired activities that my toddler gets up to yes so in that video i showed her playing with this she just puts a tennis inside a tennis ball inside initially when she puts the tennis ball she will not it will not occur to her that you know it will roll out yeah she would just think which all babies do the ball has disappeared but this toy is to teach them that out of sight doesn't really mean that something has completely disappeared yeah so she'll drop it inside and when she starts, starts to figure it out when she drops it inside she just turns to and wait wait for it to roll out she'll pick it up again drop she'll pick it up. and the first few weeks with this toy it could keep she can do it over and over and over again for 2013 my mind i'm like why are you so focused and engaged but yes it's serving its purpose she found it really fascinating she'll just drop a ball inside and it will roll out she'll pick it she'll drop the ball inside it will roll out and things like that so i use the shoe box if if you want to do a diy you can just i don't know try and figure it out yes another toy that you know I encouraged when she was zero to, when she was six to twelve months was to stack stacking toys yes the good thing about this particular toy is that over time it's going to help us with colors i've started trying to teach her colors but she's always laughing when i'm talking i don't know why but yeah it's going to help us with colors as you can see it has all the different colors on it but as at the first time she was introduced to this toy she would just stack stack at first she didn't know she would find it difficult trying to figure out the right size to she would find it difficult trying to figure out the right size to enter where but with time she started to know so now on her own she would stack each according to how it's supposed to be without any hassle so yes this is something that she played with a lot between six to twelve months another toy that she played with was posting toys this is another diy toy i'm going to try and put the real thing here but um 
I think it's called posting toys, if I'm not mistaken. It's basically me pouring out objects on the ground that can fit into this hole that I put on the lid, cover the container, and she would gradually just pick. I, yeah, she used different things, but currently this is what she's using. Just pick anything that can enter and be dropping it into it until she's done picking everything that can enter this container around her. Then she would either start shaking it or trying to call or try to call my attention so that I can come and pour it out. So she'll start all over again. She has not figured out how to open a, the container yet. She knows how to close it, but she has not figured out how to open. So she'll just shake or call for someone's attention. So you come and pour everything out and she'll start picking all over again. So yeah, it's called posting toy. That's something that really engaged her. This is also a toy. I don't know what this one is called, but I know it, en it encouraged mobility. And that's what six to 12 months she focused on. Toys that would engage all her senses, toys that will encourage her to move from crawling to walking if you know your child is up wants to walk before he or she is 12 months so toys that will encourage that which is what this did i don't know what the toy exactly is called but as you can see it has wheels so dropping it on the floor and just allowing it to move encouraged her to go after it which encouraged her to crawl and just doing this was interesting for her i don't know why which you know encouraged her to move her small muscles that's fine motor skills so she kept moving it like this which was fun and it's still going to be useful because as you can see it comes in different colors so when we're teaching colors she would also use this to learn her colors she would also use this to learn her counting i've already said to teach her one to ten but like i said she's always laughing when i'm trying to tell her something educative kind of but yeah this will also help her with counting and same thing over here and hopefully this clock i don't know hopefully the clock here to come you know play a role but yeah what she used it for between six to twelve months was basically mobility to encourage her to move around which i still use till now yeah she still uses it to you know move around till now then another toy that we used for her between six to twelve months was this toy a walker and you know it had so other things to distract i had something here before that she has pulled out then she would also flip this over and over again she would press this a couple of times this one will also help her move her fingers and you know it just had different parts they love mirrors so this was good it just had has different parts that you know engaged all her senses but both her fine motor skills you know everything it engaged everything but if you don't want to get this another thing you can get which I didn't get because we already had this, is a walker wagon. I think that's what it's called. It's a walker wagon. I also try and put up a picture. It's, it's a walker. It encourages them to move around just like this one. But on the plus side, it has like um, an extra space where you can, they can put stuff as they are moving about because children like to move things from one corner of the house to another. And instead of, you know, just picking, I know what my child does is she will pick as much as she can in her hands move to where she wants to drop it, drop it there, come back, do the same. But with a walker wagon, she can just, they can just put whatever they want into the wagon, move around to the next, uh, move to the next position they want to go to and unpack everything there and just be going back and forth, back and forth, which encourages mobility, encourages all their muscles and everything like that. So that's another thing that is really good for six to 12 months, just in case you're wondering what you can buy aside a walker to encourage your child to start walking around and my baby is crying so now we're going to talk about between the age of 12 months and 24 months at this point they just want to move they are more on the move like if you think your child was busy before the clock 12 months you have no idea like they just constantly want to move around so you buy toys that encourage that and toys that also encourage more brain activity more more engagement, more concentration, and things like that. So one of the toys I would recommend is a shape sorter. Yes, I'm still looking for one. There are so many, they come in different shapes, different you know sizes. I'm still looking for one. And that thing is a treader. Yes, that's also something I'm, look, I'm looking for. I'm going to put pictures around here. So if you know anywhere I can get around, I don't think I want to do anything online right now because of how long delivery takes these days. So please, if you know anywhere around I can get any of these kind of toys and you stay in my region in Port Harcourt, please hit me up. But yes, something you can get for them to develop their brain activity is a shape sorter and a treader. Another thing is a slide. Yes. 
I don't have a slide because she uses our workout bench. I put that up in my workout video with her. Our workout bench, she will climb, she will slide down, she will climb, she will slide down. But if you don't mind buying a slide, if your house is big enough to buy a toddler slide, then another thing is a pickler triangle. If you can get your child a pickler triangle, it also encourages them to move around to climb. So a pickler triangle is something that can work. Another toy you can get are puzzles. She actually has one, but we've not gotten around to open it. I don't know, I've been lazy about it. But yeah, puzzles. There are puzzles that they would understand between that 12 to 18 months gap. Why there are puzzles that you can buy from 18 months, two years, and things like that. But yes, I'm hoping this was a gift, so I don't really know what is like inside yet. I hope it's something easy that she can easily figure out. If not, I'll have to buy a simpler one because there are so many types of puzzles out there. So puzzles are things you can buy. Then um, stacking toys, they still use stacking toys at this age, you know, because it still helps with concentration and, you know, things like that. And toys like this, I don't know if I should call this building block or what, I don't know. But toys like this where they still stack up things are also really useful for them because at this age now she now understands where which one goes the first time she saw this toy she was she was up to a year she was just after this you know mobile part this part that is moving around but now she understands it better so she tends to try and you know build something even though she does not know what she's building she doesn't match colors properly she doesn't match the numbers properly but at least she can now you know put the right one on top of the other one then another toy that is really important for them within this age are figurines. Yes. The first time I heard figurines, I was like, what is that? But when I, you know, did my usual research, I figured it out. And it's really important. It's really, really important. So things like this are called figurines. They are different sizes. But I kind of prefer these smaller ones because when they are this, as they are this size, I can have so many and it won't feel like, you know, it won't overwhelm both of us that there are too many of these things around. But yeah, figurines are basically um, animals or objects that represent, you know, the real life ones. And I try to stick to the ones that are very relatable or that look almost like the real life ones. I will not go and get a green elephant. Sorry. I will not go and get a green elephant because a green elephant does not exist. Do you understand? So yeah, figurines are really important. So every time she picks up whichever one she wants to play with, I just tell her what the name is and, you know, that is also a learning process for her and things like and she enjoys it so she will just bring them to me and you know even if i'm distracted doing something else she'll you know wave it in front of me so i'll tell her what the name is and she'll just laugh and things like that then another thing is another type of toy you can get uh um like vehicles planes and things like that and why all these toys are important is that they are practical toys as if these are real life things that look like they are real representation of what the thing looks like real life so it's a learning toy technically yes it's also teaching them so i won't go and get an aeroplane that has a unicorn horn yeah believe me i've seen something like that before that has a unicorn horn because it doesn't exist so yes it's better you buy something that looks as close to the real thing as possible for now this is all she has but with time i want to buy a truck i want to buy you know a smaller car just as many as possible then another thing that is important at this year age books more books as more books as you can buy right now we've gone you know further into these books she also has some other story books but she kind of tends to enjoy this one more when i'm reading it but i always have to keep it far from her and even though montessori um, montessori encourages that you keep their um, toys and everything that you know is for them where their hands can reach so that they can always get to it and make use of it themselves but i've tried that and she's always tearing her books so when it comes to books of this texture i keep them far from her and i only bring it down when we both need to you know use it when i can be supervising or watching what she's doing so i hope i'm not missing any other toy so these are basically toys that i would encourage for 12 to 24 months if you know any other toy that i didn't mention that is useful that your child or a child around you has used and you love it please make comments state it at the comment section so that i can learn every other person that is watching can learn and it will mean so much to me this has brought me to the end of my video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe before you leave like comment and share with 
anyone you want to share with. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.